Here on the Guide to Space Production team, we love everything about black holes. We like how they're terrifying and completely conflict with our day-to-day -day experience of how stuff should work. We like how they completely mess you up before absolutely tearing you to pieces. And we like how they ruin time and space and everything nearby. We like them so much, we even enjoy giving them cute names like Kevin. So now I'm going to show you images and animations of black holes. Should you find this either too exciting or terrifying and need a breather, I suggest you pause this video and walk around the block and try not to think about how absolutely terrifying these things are. Those are just the artist's illustrations, who've no doubt been awe-inspired in the same way the rest of us have. But have these people ever actually seen one? Have they? Is that what a black hole would really look like? Or are these just pictures of laser corns? Well, I've got good news. Here's a picture of a real black hole. Can't see much? That's because it's more than 25,000 light years away. It's got four million times the mass of the sun and absorbs all the radiation that hits it. So how do we know it's there? The answer is awful. Even if we can't see them directly, they make such a giant mess of things in their neighborhood, we can still figure out where they are. For an actively feeding black hole, we see a disk of material surrounding it. Quasars are the jets emanating from active black holes and we see them billions of light years away. And as you get closer, this area would get brighter and brighter until it was like you were close to millions of stars. The radiation would be overwhelming. Closer and closer, and there would be a region of total darkness, and that's the black hole itself. For non-active or sleepy time black holes, we only see the distortion of light around them as light is bent by gravity. But as you get closer and closer, there'd be less light coming from the area around the black hole. No photons could be reflected by it. Then you pass a region called the photon sphere, where light is orbiting the black hole. You'd see the whole universe as a swirling jumble of mixed up photons. Next to the event horizon, where light itself can't escape. You could look out into the universe and see the distorted light coming from everywhere, but the singularity itself would still be dark. Is the black hole a single point or sphere? Astronomers don't know yet. Well, a new telescope is in the works called the Event Horizon Telescope, and it would combine the light from a worldwide constellation of telescopes. They're hoping to actually image the event horizon of a black hole and could have their first images within five years. Hopefully, it'll never get loaded onto a ship with Sam Neill. Now here's hoping we're just a few years away from knowing what black holes look like directly. But once seen, they can never be unseen. So what do you think they'll look like? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. And we couldn't do this without the members of our Patreon community. People like Ole Morton Deschand and the many others who help us create and deliver great space and astronomy content. If you'd like to join our community, which gets you advanced access to episodes as well as extras and behind the scenes content, click here and head on over to Patreon. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> Action.